Thank you, Chairman Roberts and Ranking Member Stabenow for allowing me to testify today. My name is Barb Downey. My husband, Joe Carpenter, and I run the Downey Ranch in the beautiful Flint Hills of eastern Kansas. This land has been an ideal location for our cattle, uh, our family-run cattle ranching operations. Family ranches like mine are threatened daily by urban encroachment, natural disasters, and government overreach. Since our livelihood is made on the land through the utilization of our natural resources, being good stewards of these only make good environmental sense in addition to being fundamental for our industry to remain strong. Ranchers pride themselves on being good stewards of our country's natural resources. The Downey Ranch employs various uh, programs, some of which we have put in place utilizing NRCS programs such as the Environmental Quality Incentives Program, or EQIP. EQIP is improving habitat for grassland nesting birds like the greater prairie chicken we see increasing on our ranch, as well as enhancing the health of grazing lands, improving water and soil quality, and reducing soil erosion. One important feature of EQIP has been its focus on livestock operations, and we would like to see continued funding to preserve this program in the 2018 Farm Bill. During the extensive drought of 2011 to 2015 that we endured, Springs and ponds across our countryside dried up. Had we not taken proactive efforts to improve our drought resilience, we would have been in a dire situation. We had installed ponds with controlled access drinking points so that our banks don't erode, our ponds don't silt in, and the water stays clean. And then we put terraces around those ponds so that any water from the area's cattle or grazing is filtered through the grasslands. A major creek runs through our ranch, and there's a public recreation area just two miles downstream. Thousands of people, including my family, wade and swim in those waters every year. So we fenced cattle away from the creek, and we only cross it at one location we deliberately chose because it has a rock bottom and no sediments are disturbed. We used Equip to install two of our eight controlled access ponds. The success of these ponds led Senator Jerry Moran, other legislators, the state director of the Kansas NRCS, and others from ER, or NRCS in DC to come out and see what we were doing. In our grazing practices, we use an approach that replicates bison herd movement. We run one big herd of cows through several small different pastures. As a result, we've seen plants that are typically grazed out returning to, returning to our native pastures. Another key to improving the grass on our ranch is brush control. Encroachment of trees, brush, and noxious weeds threatens the very existence of the tall grass prairie ecosystem. We use a variety of ways to reduce this brush, including mechanical control and prescribed burns. We have been community leaders in promoting and using online smoke prediction tools to comply with our state's smoke management plan. Flexibility is key to ranchers using conservation programs. We're working with innovators on a scheme of chemical control for the noxious weed Cerecia lespidiza, supplemented with a fall burning. It's been shown to reduce seed production from 800 seeds per plant down to one or two. When those seeds stay viable for 20 years, that's huge. This ability to innovate and adapt with local agent oversight would allow integrated and holistic strategies to evolve. The last point I'd like you all to take away from this hearing is the voluntary part of conservation programs. It's what makes it truly work for us ranchers. We've had success using some of these programs, but just because it works for us doesn't mean it works for our neighbors. It is important we keep these programs funded to safeguard their continued success, and above all else, these programs must stay voluntary. A one-size-fits-all one approach that accompanies top-down regulation doesn't work out in the countryside. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to questions.